So for factoring each expression here, this one looks crazy at first but it gets a little bit better. It's an x squared and a y squared, so we don't have a lot of familiarity with that, except for the fact that they're both perfect squares, x squared and y squared are. These, however, are not, but they do have some stuff in common. So we want to see if we can take something out. Turns out 8 goes into 32 and 72, and it's probably the biggest number that goes into both. If I take out an 8 then, I'm left with 4x squared, which happens to be a perfect square, minus 9y squared, which also happens to be a perfect square. So if you understand the difference of two perfect squares and how they factor to conjugates, uh, the factors here are going to be 2x plus 3y and 2x minus 3y. Conjugates are the same, uh, the square root of each of those with a plus and a minus involved. Um, this one here, if we go through the process of uh, first setting up our diamond problem, which is the product of these two, it's a negative 30x squared, and then that negative 1x on the bottom. We're looking at two numbers that multiply together to get negative 30, add together to get negative 1. That is negative 6x and positive 5x. This one has to be the bigger one because that's the negative there. All we've done with this, folks, these are not your solutions. Those are a substitution for that. And if you take a close look, not even that close, you'll see that those add together to get that. Remember, that's part of this diamond problem. They have to add together to get that, but also multiply together to get that. Since they are a substitute for that, Let's rewrite that over here, but instead of a minus x, we're going to write minus 6x plus 5x, because those two things there are taking the place of that, but we still have our minus 10. So we've rewritten this equation, but instead of the negative x, we've split that up into two pieces that will make this work beyond where we are at this point. Um, now, by the way, if you move these back, if you switched them, you'd still get the same answer. If you put a 5x here and a negative 6x there, trust me. Or if you don't trust me, um, fine, be that way. But uh, you can switch those. See what I'm going to do here, do your own, and see that they come out the same. Um, you take out the 3x. The curious will do that. Um, it's good to be curious, by the way. Take out the 3x, you're left with x minus 2. You take out here the 5, a positive 5, you're left with x minus 2. If you're curious, you'll look for answers. If you look for answers, you'll be able to find solutions. Those are all good things. Okay, back to this. Um, you can now take out an x minus 2. x minus, hello, x minus 2 is one of the solutions. The other solution is what we have left when the x minus 2's are gone, and that's a 3x plus 5. Excellent. Down here, common factor. You can take out a 4. Look for that. Don't always assume that you just got to start multiplying and do these big crazy things because this gets real easy real quick. x squared plus 8x plus 9 -er. These are all pluses. This is going to factor pretty easily. The two numbers that... Um, 6x plus 9 -er. uh, I thought that was a 3 for a moment, sorry. Um, even easier because the other one didn't factor. Uh, this will factor to be x plus 3 and x plus 3. So one way we could write this final answer is x plus 3 squared. And lastly, I can take out some big stuff. It looks like 9 is involved in each one of these. Take out a 9, and an x to the third power is about the biggest thing I can take out. If I take out a 9x squared, I'm left with a 9x, or a 9x cubed. I'm left with a 9x squared plus 3x minus 5. Now the question is, does that factor any, any further? Well, we've got to go back to our diamond problem again. The 9x to the third power is out in front. That stays. Now, in theory, we can get another set of parentheses going here if this times that, which is negative 45x squared, and positive 3x are here. Well, that should mean that two numbers can multiply together to get 45 and add it together to get 3. Um, it's going to have to be a negative and a positive, um, and they have to be 3 apart from each other. So 9 and 5 are already taken. They're 4 apart from each other. I don't know that we can factor that again. I'm going to go with no and erase this and simply say that we are fully factored when we say that 9x squared uh, plus 3x minus 5 is our final answer.